Okay. Alright. So, like, last month, we had, what, two characters drop, which was fucking Gizmo and Rick, and then right before that was Morty at the end of uh, August, right? So... Um, already, like, right now, we got, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 characters. 20 characters for, like, a roster. It's a pretty good size roster, like, for a game. And then, like, next month, well, this month, October, with, like, three characters being added, puts us, like, at a good, decent amount. Um, but the thing about this game is that it is a free-to-play game, right? So you got to think about how long you want a free your game to last but you also with it being a fighting game um you don't you don't want to oversaturate like the roster there could be just too many fucking characters so i think that's going to be an issue like just in general that this game could face is like when do we cap the roster off especially being that like you want uh you want the game to like last five six years like most average like fighting games last like a very very long time uh over the course of like their their run um but with it being like like so like other games it works having like a lot of fucking characters but in a fighting game it's a lot of fucking characters <laughs> it's like a lot of characters to have to learn the matchup for you know and then with having such a huge roster like in the future uh could make it harder for like a newer player to like well never mind never mind that argument actually goes out the window because they'll just pick their fucking favorite person so to keep like the most like the more casual audience like playing the game because there's so many of their fucking favorite characters in the game that they can always choose and play but on a competitive standpoint if you got a roster full of 50 motherfucking characters like <laughs> and then on growing like it's gonna keep growing and not like you know like like stop because that's the idea for it when like you you have a game you know it's gonna look, gonna look at a roster and be like god damn i gotta learn all these matchups like so and especially like starting off uh because like so if you release like a bunch of fucking characters at a time like in a in a month uh you kind of shortening even though they got like a lot of fucking propositions that they can pull but you're, you're you're shortening like your expansion growth uh for like seasons and things like that so hopefully um they wait like i said like two to three months and then drop a character two to three months drop another character uh instead of just every month or so we keep getting new characters because that could become problematic as good as is this, uh, as it is you know like it's exciting getting new characters for a game uh i just believe that they should work on balancing all of the characters out balancing the game out before consistently adding new characters because that's what most fighting games uh do is that they will release the game they will work through the game see how the competitive scene goes uh see how these characters work and then start doing like buffs buffs and nerfs to kind of balance out the base roster but when you keep constantly adding in new characters as well it's hard to maintain a balance when the base roster itself ain't even fucking like 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 balance you know so i truly feel like before consistently like adding new characters like the way that they are uh they should balance this motherfucking roster that's <laughs> like, <laughs> truly what should happen but i mean it's, it's 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 a lot of pros and cons it's a good thing but i think in the long run if they add two to three characters every or two characters every month and we get a new character every month they could oversaturate God the game. damn it which could be a problem we need skins we need balances and everything not so much new characters this fast He's especially in the end. I think he was on the lead and then of course well. the data miner. don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell me your thoughts and opinions on the roster for the game do you believe that it will become too oversaturated or do you think that there's not enough characters in the game also tell me what character are you looking forward to to being added into the game as well once again don't forget to like comment subscribe support is free so also check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Nagato. Links will be down in the description below. And catch you beautiful motherfuckers next time.